What is up, everybody? Welcome into this new video, Tech Express. I'm going to be showing you how to link your Stripe account into WooCommerce. Um, it's not that hard to do this. There do need a few steps in order to continue. And it's actually, let's say, a little bit obvious since we want to link a few stuff uh, between accounts. So first of all, I want to have an actual Stripe account. If you don't have a Stripe account, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can create your um, your free account of Stripe and both with WooCommerce account. So WooCommerce operates with the actual WordPress. So as you can see, we are here into the browse our site. We have created an actual WooCommerce store. And I have checked it out that I have created a lot of actual websites created by WordPress and created by WooCommerce. The difference between both of them is that Wu is specifically speaking about the commerce, the real online stuff that can be helping you to get started here into WordPress. So um, what I wanted to do is to hit into my WordPress.com section, go directly into the website that I have just created from WooCommerce. We can choose an actual free account, but I must tell you that we need to have an actual active plan in order to add our actual whatever you are looking for payment getaways for example you can add uh, stripe you can add paypal you can add your credit card you can accept all of this information even google pay in, in apple pay but now what i wanted to do before we continue in here is to go into the actual third party that i wanted to link your actual account in my case what i wanted to do is to go into stripe.com so here into stripe.com once again i'm going to hit into sign up or sign in depending on depending on your situation in my case since i already have a stripe account what i want to do is to sign in so as you can see now i'm already signed it in um as you can see it's not that hard to create a stripe account so um, now what I wanted to do is to go back, of course, into the payment sections of the WordPress of my WooCommerce section. If you didn't sell how we can go in here, what you want to do is to hit into my sites. You go into browse sites and choose the one that was created with WooCommerce. So now that we have this section, what I want to do is to focus into payments. Into payments, we have the WooCommerce payments. So we need to finish up to enable credit card payments in order to receive the money. So what I want to do is to hit into finish the actual setup. And then later on, this one should be taking us directly into the administrative section of the WooCommerce payment, where what we need to do is to add a credit or your debit card, uh, depending on what is your actual situation. What I wanted to do is to just uh, wait a few seconds and this one should be taking me directly into the stripe.com section so as you can see it says get paid with WooCommerce payment so as you can see it wasn't that hard to do this what i want to do is to type my email hit into continue and now i wanted to just sign it in now once i sign it in i'm going to hit into logged in and then um, the WooCommerce payments should be redirected like right away. In my case, I'm using an actual authenticator authenticator application to come helping me to secure my account a little bit more uh, faster and great. So I can totally suggest you to use that. Then later on, we need to add an actual mobile number. In my case, I wanted to let's go and type for the country I'm currently living. Otherwise, this one actually just won't work. So it's really, really important to choose a mobile number from your current country because later on we need to add an actual ID verification uh, of your actual country of your residence. Now, once again, uh, truly important to choose a country I'm currently living in. If your country is not appearing in here, I believe it's going to be a little bit hard to have the business legally be operated in our actual store. If this is your case, what I can totally suggest to you is to choose another country that can be a little bit, let's say, for example, close to yours, for example, United States. In my case, the type of business, let's go for individual because we are not a company. Hit now into continue. And then later on, the last thing we just needed to do is to add the last process, which is to add the personal details. So go for it, add your legal name, add your email address, your date of birth, your home address, all your home address, once again, your phone number and the last four digits of your social security number and hit now into continue. So this is once again truly important to keep the account safe inside WooCommerce, not directly from Stripe because into Stripe we already added that information. So uh, fill that information and hit now into continue. 
All right, so let's go and type the professional details. Into the professional details, what I want to do is to type the one that best fits for myself. In my case, let's go for personal services. And here you want to look out for the most accurate element that fits into your individual stuff or whatever. In my case, I want to focus into, let's go for online stuff. I'm going to scroll up, clothing and accessories. And here you want to type your actual website. You want it to hit now and to continue, but it's really, really important to just to check the actual account. Now it says select an account for payment. Now earnings that we received on Stripe will be sent to this account. So um, what I wanted to do once I have my actual Stripe account, I wanted to link a bank account or I can link a debit card in order to receive the money directly from Stripe into my actual WooCommerce. So fill your card number, fill your expiration date, and hit into save. Now this one should be redirecting us into the WooCommerce payments once we have processed all the information that was asked from the Connect Stripe of WooCommerce into our actual Stripe, under our actual Stripe account. So this one should be taking us back into the actual payment section. So my store has now been verified. And as you can see, we have available funds in here. The pending funds are available in here. And account details should be, of course, enabled. In my case, we do have disabled and deposit disabled. Since we used an example account, this account is no longer active. So of course, this store should be closed right away. But this is how, guys, we can add the actual Stripe account directly into our own WooCommerce store. So then later on what is left to be done is to start with setting up now the sale world while in multiple currencies if you wanted to add more money and add to more stuff. For example, you can add Japanese yen, you can add Australian dollars, you can add Canadian dollars, you can add Indian rubies, you can add whatever you wanted to and hit into add the six currencies and then review store settings. You want to enable automatically switch customers to the local currency. It has been enabled, hit into continue, and now view multi-currency settings. And we are now successfully done. So if I go back once again into payments, you can see that in here, we can take it out. Um, all the elements about the deposits, the transaction, the disputes, the settings, all the information that it needs to be legally about payments and processes and all that is going to be enabled into WooCommerce. So um, as you can see, it was really, really easy. What we can do is to even add the advanced payment risk level to allow to the fine tune to level or filtering according to our business needs. So you click and configure and the process is not that hard. You just need to add a few legal information or to continue so really really important and really really easy to do so it might be taking a few minutes to do this but this is the way of how we can correctly do from stripe into our woocommerce account hopefully this was a very useful information for you guys so thank you so much for watching the video and well with that being said i can see you on the next video don't forget to like and subscribe of course and have lots of fun